Okay, so real quick, I wanted to show you something that is a Houghton Lake, Michigan pastime. Um, for all you southern people, I know this is a lot to take in, but I am going to flip my phone around here. In Lake Michigan, I'm not sure if you guys can see all this. It's really sunny out here. Um, I'm gonna try to pan in here. I know this is rough. Those are little ice shanties. Um, I'm from Virginia, so our lakes never got this uh, uh, froze over. And I guess they um, there is a pickup truck if you can see that out in the middle of the lake but they have a big festival every year it's called tip up town and i guess those little shanties are called tip ups and people get out there and they fish and i guess that's known for walleye pike and some pan fish this is a very popular sport up here and this lake is probably going to froze be froze over um, till the end of March is I think when they have to pull all their gear in. But they leave them out there in the middle of the lake just like cabins. They got heating systems. And I was just amazed when I first moved up here and I saw this. I was like, what are those people doing out in the middle of the lake? And that's when I got looked at like I was crazy and I, they were like well they're fishing and I'm like but it's winter and it's frozen so anyway this is a very big sport up here we're on our way up to St. Helen uh, we have a little property which I'm going to explain to y'all in a video uh, what we did how we did it and we got some very inexpensive property to park our RV in but Houghton Lake is just a few minutes away and it's a really fun sport, winter sport place. Uh, a lot of snowmobiling, as you can see, those are snowmobile tracks that go right down to the lake. Okay, we've made it to St. Helen and this is our little campy lot that we had purchased. We have power, we got a well, that's what we came in through. There's our RV power and we are here just to do a little bit of work. Anyway, this was all wooded. We had a uh, horse tree gone come and chopped down some trees. There's a little burn spot. Dogs love it out here. Woohoo! No! Nope. And it's fenced in, but it's a good spot. But we have got that problem right there and there is bags of trash that the previous owners left behind and so we're going to clean up the rest of the trash bags so I can get someone to come out and scrap this um, as it really is pretty nasty. We want to get it off before this next camping season so that we don't have rodents there. Yeah. Looks pretty good in the winter time, huh?